What's up? My name is Miguel. I went to my neighbor's house recently and he was like, dude, my internet sucks. And I was like, dude, your room is only like a one room away from the living room. So this video is for the beginners out there for that uh, you want to get the most out of your Wi-Fi router. Some of the things that may interfere with the signal of the wireless router materials in the walls such as brick, marble, concrete, and metal. Another interference will also be electronic devices such as cordless phones in the house as well as your microwaves. As long as you keep your router away from those objects, you will have better signal. You also want to try to put your router in the center of your home. The company that comes and installs it, they may not look for the centermost location, especially if you have a modem and router combined. The signals are, are broadcast in a sphere, like, you know, spherical around. Um, so the center is the best place. However, I personally don't have my router in the center of my home. And the reason why is the next one is because the line of sight as well. So I want signal in my backyard and where my router is located, the only obstruction is really is a wall that has a window through it. And that actually provides really good clear line of sight into my backyard to spread the signal. If I were to put it exactly in the center of my home, it would have to cross one, two walls. And the second wall, it has a stucco on it. So that would be harder for the signal to reach into my backyard. So, you know, try to figure out what locations of the house do you want the most, the best signal? You also want to try to put your router out in the open. You don't want it behind objects. You want to have it out. Now, the other thing is that you also want to have it high. Don't put it low. Don't put it close to the ground. Have it as high as possible. So I've seen some people actually hang their router from a hook. I found this hook at Ikea and I actually mounted this to the top of the wall. Not too high because I'm going to get complaints. For my girl if i have the router sticking out she's gonna you know i'm gonna hear it so what i do is i put it as high as i can so it's behind the curtain no big deal so i put the hook up and then i use a zip tie and i either drill a hole into the the, the wireless device or i also find a vent that i can stick in and kind of loop in that little zip tie and i just hang it up on the wall so here's my tv and behind the curtain is where i have my router up on the wall let me show you what it looks like. Let's slide this curtain open. So at the top, I created like a, I just got a piece of plastic and I put a hole in it. I mounted it on the wall, got a zip tie, ran it through. At the bottom, it hangs a little bit off angle. So I used another piece of plastic. I think I used double-sided tape right here just to mount it on there so it's not shaking and moving. And uh, it's high, as high as I can get it. And at the same time, it's, uh, you know, behind the curtains where it gives it a concealed look. So some routers, you look at them and they don't have antennas on the outside. They have internal antennas. Well, the ones that have external, if you have one of those and your antennas are about this size, you can purchase what are called high gain antennas. And they're like this big or so. And it will help to spread the signal a little bit farther. I've used them before in an old uh, Linksys router that I had and it really helped out. The placement of your antennas will also make some difference. Let's look at this antenna is that the signal is actually spread. This is the tip and obviously this will be screwed into your router. So my understanding is that the signal actually comes up this way, left and right. And you're, you're going to spread your signal laterally. Now, if you put it like this, your antennas, you're gonna spread the signal up and down. So maybe that's good if like uh, you have a few floors and you wanna spread the signal as far as down or up. If you want to spread your signal farther in a specific location, like maybe there's a pocket of your property where the signal's very low, what you can do is you can make what's called a parabola. It's like you make a paper parabola, so you put foil on it and then you put it, you, you like mount it on your antennas and it seems as if the direction, like if wherever it's pointing at, like in terms of this way, the arc out, um, that's where your signal is going to increase. This may just be for areas that have a lot of interference and you're not getting good signal there. It may help, not always. My experience was that uh, there are times when it did help and then there are some times where I couldn't tell the difference. 
Another thing to do is to change the channel at which your signal is being broadcasted. So in the router, usually your default setting is set to automatic. So the router automatically chooses which channel it's going to broadcast. Uh, I think it's about like 1 through 14, the channels. Download this app, links in the description, it's called Wi-Fi Analyzer. And in that app, you will be able to walk around your property and you can see if your router is on the same channel as like three other neighboring devices, that's going to impede your signal. So what I did recently was I took a look at it and I found three other neighbors were also on that channel. So I switched it to channel 11 because I saw on there that channel 11, not a lot of people were on it. So I switched it over to channel 11, boom. It's a little bit smoother, you know, I can tell, I can tell. So these are my router settings. I accessed it by going to the, uh, the IP address of the router, which is 192.168.01. Under gateway, I went to connection, and then I will go to Wi-Fi. And then here, I can see channel selection. So you'll see right here, it says manual, and I put it to channel 11, and I got better results from that. The router that I have also broadcasts into what's known as dual band. So it broadcasts in 2.4 gigahertz as well as 5 gigahertz. If you want to extend your wireless signal even farther, what you can do is you can get a, a repeater. When I had the repeater and I put it in the back area, it, it was a wireless one. So my signal was great connecting to that repeater. However, in terms of the internet speed, it wasn't faster than what I had before. My recommendation is if you really want to go with a repeater, I would suggest to go with one that is going to be hardwired to your original Wi-Fi router. Because it is hardwired, the speed that will come out of that repeater will be as good as the original one. But a wireless one will not extend your speed further. I also looked into these other devices that were called broadband over power. So you connect hardwired to your router and this device goes into your wall socket and it actually sends your inter the internet speed through the the circuit, the electrical wires, yes, the power wires. I know it sounds trippy when I when I first heard about it, I was like, what? I was scratching my head. The only problem with those devices is that the, it has to be on the same circuit. Now, the location, for example, where I would normally put it, it's not on the same circuit as my original Wi-Fi router. So really, it's not going to be any benefit to me. So the last and simplest thing that you can do to improve your signal is really turn off and on your router. So there are times when you know you have it on for a few days and you haven't reset it and it just slows down a little bit, you know, the router. I really recommend this if you're gonna have a projector in your backyard and you're gonna be streaming, let's say, a boxing match or a UFC event, something like that. I recommend that you do turn off and then turn it back on to refresh that router so that when you're streaming, you're at like your optimum level of like bandwidth, power and streaming and stuff like that. For checking your speed, the website that I go to the most is speedtest.net. They also have an app on the Android market. It should also be on, on the Apple market. More than 10 years ago, I started using Wi-Fi routers. And since then to now, it has been significantly better. So in the past, I would buy my own modem instead of renting it from them. Why? Because the ones that they gave you to lease were a little crappy. They make really good routers nowadays. I mean, times have changed. So you don't have to always, you know, put in a powerful new router, especially if everything works for you. If you're happy, if you're satisfied with what you have, you know, you can try these tips just, just for fun, but you don't have to do all these things, you know?